Hi guys, my name is Nina Jemskal and welcome to a tour of the new architect homes we have in Sims Freeplay. These architect homes came out beginning of September and I have no idea how long they are going to be available for. We have 10 new homes and we're going to take a look at them all now. As usual, don't pay any attention to the price. This will depend upon how many buildings you already have built in your sim town. You could have a completely different price. I think they all look like they can be built on a standard size lot as well. Here is house number one. This is a one story. It doesn't seem to be that much to this house, to be honest. A pool at the back. Or maybe these shades lounge. Is that how you say it? You may not have those, potentially. You might want to build it for them, but there is nothing really very rare or anything within this house. House number two, we have, oh, we have a basement and we have a second floor as well. I like the look of this, look at that. Looks nice from the outside. I feel like this is going to be a remodel of the DIY homes house. Mmm, this looks really nice. It's very kind of open plan. I like this area over here. I've got this little kitchen. I like that little kitchen with the rug in the middle. That's cool. Lots of plants around. Let's go downstairs into the basement. It's a bedroom down here. I wasn't expecting that. And then let's go upstairs to the second floor. And we've got that pirate bed. I love that pirate bed so much. And that bookshelf. I really like that bookshelf. I like how thin it is and it just kind of looks, I don't know, it just looks really, really nice. Oh, this is kind of a little cramped bedroom really for maybe a toddler and a baby. And then we've got the suite there for mum and dad. Big bathroom with some of the spa furniture. And a nice walk-in wardrobe. That's nice. Our third house, very black with some hints of red there. We've got a basement and we've got a second floor. So this is what it looks like overall. This looks really, wow, okay, yeah. I like this, we, straight away you can kind of see we've got the dog slide at the back which you may not have had access to you have to build the pet park and do some things to win that let's go i like the entrance there look we've done that with the glass panels i kind of like the whole red and black feel and how does this have that i think it looks really really cool nice outdoor area there i like the use of rugs let's go downstairs Ooh, this is nice okay we've got that tv that's worth lp or sp one of the two i really do like the use of these um glass screens we've got a cauldron fireplace over there this is like they've used dungeon flooring look with it's got like the blood scratches on the floor little gym area kind of more workout stuff over there. It's kind of like a bit Dracula-y down here, vampire-y. We've got a bedroom up here, double bedroom. Oh, I like these chairs. I feel like I've not seen those chairs before. They go really well with this kind of house's all black and red theme. And this table, I like that table. What's this on the floor here? Oh, is it like the smoke machine maybe or like the laser light thing? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's from the party time thing. Here's the fourth house, a very different feel from the last one. Lots of ice furniture. So if you didn't get the ice furniture, you probably could build this and get some of it. We've got a sci-fi bookshelf in the middle there. Lots of these spiral stairs. This is kind of built more for the look on the outside, I think, as opposed to what it's like on the inside. Here's the fifth house. Very open plan and light and airy kind of feel to it. We've got nothing in there. Let's go upper floor. Oh, we have some of the green onion bathroom stuff and bedroom stuff, actually. We have the dressing gown hangers that you can only get in the spa house if you build the spa house so that could be useful to you and yeah that's it 
These houses are not that spectacular, to be honest, at the moment, but we'll wait and see. Sixth house here, and we've got a little bunny rabbit in this house. A little pool area at the front. Let's see what it looks like as a whole. Okay, this is quite a big house. A very big house, really. It's got three floors. The first floor has anything? It's very open plan. Huge kitchen area. Kind of a weird dining area type of thing going on. Oh, look, I like that, how they've done that with the... I've never seen anything like that before. They've dotted the tables, like different tables like that. That's pretty awesome. A unique little thing to this house. Oh, we've got a basement. A computer area. Oh, we've got some of instruments over here. Cinema area, library area. Lots going on. Let's go to the second floor. Kind of odd spaces in this house, to be quite honest with you. Like, I find that weird, that <laughs> that chair thing is there, like that. But I like it, it's like, we don't need to all build the same and like do it all. I like it when there's unique little aspects to houses, like, it, that's what you get ideas from and think, oh yeah, that's odd maybe, but do I like it? Let's I can try it out in my build and things. I think that, um, that's for LP, I'm pretty sure, that table there. Is the seventh house, I have a feeling that this is a tall one, yes. It's a very tall one, check that out, five floors. First floor, we have a big, big patio area. And, um, okay, this is not a house, I don't think, because you kind of enter like a reception type area there. I don't know what it is at the moment though. Okay, there's a kitchen. Big chandelier there from the wedding events. We've got an elevator, so if you didn't get elevators, that might be useful to you. This lamp, oh, two of these lamps. They're my favorite in the whole game, I love them. Um, okay, so we've got that bar as well, that's from the wedding event or quest, whatever it was. Let's go upstairs. Kind of a library area there. Kids bit, more library area. Is it maybe like a, I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what this is supposed to be, in all honesty. What has it got? It's got some spa stuff there. Fish tank. Or two fish tanks, I should say, that you can get for real money in the game. Up to the next floor, another fish tank. Nothing rare, particularly. Nice little kitchen area up here. It's a nice build, but I mean, there's nothing. Oh, look, they've got the centennial replica all the way up there. At the top, inside that glass little room there. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there's nothing amazingly rare or anything in there, but maybe you want to build it for the design. Here's our eighth house, and let's take a look at the overall feel of the house. I like the design. I like the build on this. That is really, really, really awesome. Okay, so let's take it down to the bottom, and wow, I have never seen this. Let me know where that is from. Is that from the same place as those cool uh, seats that the outdoor chairs that you could get for real money in that like, you could get, I think someone said you could get them back in June and I missed out on them and is that from like the same pack I feel like it has that same vibe I hope that pack comes back because I really really want it we've got a gym over there right, but anyway let's get in to the house you get in over here I've never seen this before either what is this where's this from same pack maybe I have never seen that before where's that from Oh my goodness, I'm building this house. Definitely building this house. I like that kitchen, it's huge. I don't feel like I've seen that before, that black and white and sideboard. Building this, for sure. We've got a black piano there, another one of those uh, fireplaces. One of these desks, the computer desks. I love this build. Please have more things that I don't know where they're from or what they are. Make it more worth me building. Another fireplace. Yes. Some spa stuff. Mm, that's all. Although, are these little plants worth some SP? I feel like they are. Oh, and then is that it? Was that the last floor? Yes, that was the last floor. I'm definitely building that. 
oh it's got no windows at the back at all <laughs> got quite a lot of the sp windows there i think yeah i'm building that i love that design here's the ninth house small house and lots of outdoor space with this one very clean white looking downstairs first floor area with nothing massively rare we have got some of the windows with the blinds so if you didn't get them maybe you want to get them here let's go down got a cinema area here nice little bedroom and gym yeah that's quite nice let's go up next floor we have the dressing gown hangers from the spa house another walk-in wardrobe nothing too rare i like the look of it though look at that that looks quite a nice build in fact it looks a very nice build and last but definitely not least we have our huge four floor house here as our last one. Oh my goodness it is huge i wonder if it's apartment buildings let's take a little look i feel like possibly it is yeah look you enter into like a reception area is it um, i'm not sure what this area is here i feel like it was like a wedding thing but then that's odd i don't know um centennial replica was a prize it's got one of these staircases i love those staircases oh look at that down into like a little ice palace ice wedding that's awesome it's got some wedding stuff and some ice stuff and then completely different kind of feel over here how'd you get down so this is like a yeah this is an apartment and then this is like a hotel bedroom so you have your wedding here and then your guests can stay in the hotel i think the kind of the rooms are going to be yeah they're all kind of done the same with not anything where wouldn't it be cool if they had like a cool fireplace or something in all of the rooms i would definitely be building that then but no they're all just the same same rooms with nothing too rare or anything but an awesome build nonetheless there you go guys, that completes a tour and a look at all of the 10 new architect homes. I think probably this time I'll only be building that one with the fireplaces. Let me know down below in the comments if you will be building any or if any of them are actually are your design. That would be cool if we knew who designed them. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Click the bell to get notifications of when I upload a new video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.